Hello everyone. Um, this is Maruti from Group Two, and we are here to present our research papers, our research findings, and healthcare research findings. Um, so health disease, uh, heart disease prediction, and machine learning uh, based database detection models are two pivotal studies uh, that are outlined in this research. Heart disease prediction um, delves into pressing the issue of heart diseases highlighting the crucial uh, significance of timely and accurate prediction in uh, saving lives. By evaluating uh, the accuracy of uh, self-measurable uh, physical health indicators against those uh, measured by health professionals, the study employed a comprehensive analysis uh, involving five prominent machine learning models, leveraging a data set encompassing 13 uh, health test results and heart disease risks of three 300, 303 patients. The research ultimately brings to light a compelling conclusion that holds significant implications for the future of heart, uh, cardiac heart management. And moving on to diabetes uh, detection study, the research confronts the widespread challenge posed by diabetes, emphasizing the need for early detection of uh, elective, it's a uh, detrimental impact. So with a strong focus on uh, developing the robust machine learning model for diabetes diagnosis, the research encompasses a wide array of methodologies underscoring the critical significance of the random uh, forest algorithm and strategic data balancing techniques. Notably, uh, the study sheds uh, light on the intricate process of data processing and addresses the pivotal issue of uh, imbalanced data sets. And together, these Endeavors uh, pave the way for a deeper understanding of uh, the intricate nuances uh, involved in the accurate and timely detection of diabetes, contributing broader efforts um, in combating the silent yet preservative global health uh, concern. And from now on, um, that's it for my part. And from now on, my teammate will take over. Thank you. Hello everyone. So I'm going to continue from this slide. So machine learning based diabetes detection model. So diabetes meritus a widespread chronic disease silently affects millions worldwide, leading to severe health complications. Contributing factors include aging, poor dietary habits, and an unhealthy lifestyle. Normal fasting glucose levels range between 70 and 99 mgdl with levels over 126 mgdl indicating diabetes approximately 8.8 percentage .8 of the global population is affected with projections to reach 9.9 percentage by 2045 common symptoms include weight loss fatigue irritability dry mouth and pain early detection and dietary management are essential for mitigating the diabetes impact Modern technology, particularly machine learning, is used to diagnose and uh, predict uh, diabetes. This study focuses on enhancing machine learning models for more accurate diabetes predictions. Next slide, please. Uh, these are the machine learning models. Uh, in research paper one, the models involved for heart diseases prediction are uh, K nearest neighbor algorithm, support vector machine. Decision tree algorithm, random forest classification, logistic regression. In research paper two, the models involved for diabetes prediction models are linear regression, naive bias, k nearest neighbor algorithm, support vector machine, decision tree algorithm, random forest classification, and logistic regression. Linear regression. So linear regression is an algor algorithm that highlights the linear relationship between one or more independent variables and a dependent variable. It serves to identify and quantify the impact of changes in the independent variable on various variations in the dependent variable, effectively demonstrating how these variables are interconnected in a linear manner. So if you see the right side of uh, a diagram or a figure, uh, there there it was shown like dependent variable and independent variable in X and Y axis. And this is a graph for shown the 
uh, line of regression and our data points. And the next slide will be continued by my teammate Madhu. Thank you. Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, now I'm going to explain about uh, logistic regression. Uh, we choose in this model to predict the risk of heart disease, whether the like uh, it's high or low, we're going to find it. The research opted for logistic uh, regression from the SQL learn package in Python given to the binary nature of the outcome variable thus the selection was well suited for data set of related with small size uh, which aligns with application in a library based uh, linear application where you can see the linear uh, graph and okay next slide uh, for classification we use a k nearest uh, neighbors algorithm to access the likelihood of data points belonging to a in the same category like specific category based on its uh, processity to the neighbor data points the research considered a range like from 1 to 20 we consider the range the number of neighbors and calculated k neighbors classifier scores for each scenario by plotting the scores against the number of neighbors a decision was made to select k equal to 8 as it's demonstrated the highest k neighbors classification score where you can see in category b and category a where the new data point is an average of uh, like eight like we taken one to 20 and the average k mean is be like eight next slide and now we use it to find an optimal hyperline so we use the support vector machine this is also in machine learning algorithm for finding an optimal hyperline in a high dimensional uh, Feather space to separate data points into different classes while maximizing the margin in between the classes. It is widely used for a binary classification task, but can be extended to multiple uh, class classifications. Now my team and uh, Morty gonna continue. Okay, hi. Uh, so the next algorithm is the decision tree. Um, it is a supervised mission learning algorithm. So it generally is a visual representation and a predictive modeling tool that is used to make uh, decisions or predictions by mapping out all possible outcomes and their uh, associate uh, possibilities. So it resembles like a tree-like structure where internal roads uh, represent decision points, branches represent possible choice or conditions. Um, so decision trees are commonly used in machine learning learn, uh, learning and decision analysis to make informed choices based on input data and particularly used for, for classification and uh, regression tasks. And the random forest is, is a method built upon decision trees uh, and behavior analysis. It compromises uh, numerous uh, data. It compromises uh, numer uh, numerous uh, numerous uh, decision trees, such uh, each serving as a distinct classifier for the data input, as illustrated in figure below. So, in the random forest approach, each data instance is accessed individually, and the prediction is made by selecting the instance with the highest number of uh, votes, effectively choosing the most uh, popular uh, prediction from the uh, assemble of decision trees. So the, uh, when coming to the results, so the, these are the results for the paper one, uh, which we did uh, health uh, heart, heart disease uh, prediction. So the research focused on comparing the uh, physical health indicators with those with uh, home indicators in predicting heart disease. So we uh, based on the machine learning uh, algorithms we used uh, on this particular uh, model is logistic regression support vector model K nearest neighbor, decision tree, and random forest. So results consistently favored models uh, for the uh, physical health indicators when compared to the uh, self-measurable indicators. Uh, like when the uh, when we see the introduction of this particular paper, there are 13 uh, self-measurable uh, indicators which uh, were provided by the providers and there are some uh, six uh, home uh, self-measurable indicators which we can predict the heart diseases 
So it is done based on uh, two different uh, data features. So when it comes to the results, if we see in the picture here, the logistic regression shows 88.52%, which is also safe same for the support vector model so among all these uh, five algorithms the uh, these two performed the best for all indi indicators accuracy like for the both physical health indicators as well as the self uh, measurable indicators but uh, if you see uh, if you compare the uh, accuracy between uh, the uh, physical health indicators and the self measurable indicator accuracy here uh, the uh, physical health indicators accuracy is more when compared to the self-measurable accuracy. So the conclusion drawn is that self-measurable indicators are less accurate for accessing uh, heart disease risk. So it is uh, better uh, if we do more uh, research about how to do self-measurable indicators and find if we have if we, we can predict heart diseases. So the next slides are continued by my team. Hello everyone, this is Sirisha Ketnani. Uh, uh, coming to the slide, uh, paper two results. Paper two focused on diabetes prediction and used data balancing techniques to understand, to address imbalanced data sets. The study applied machine learning algorithms, including logistic regression, uh, K nearest neighbors, support vector machine, decision tree, and random forest. The accuracy of the model was evaluated and confusion matrix, matrices were examined. The best accuracy was uh, achieved using the random forest algorithm with a test train split of 25% test data and 75% train data. The random forest model achieved the highest accuracy at 97.54 for the Bima Indian data set. The data balancing techniques significantly reduce the number of false negative cases in the model. So here is the measures. So the highest random forest 97.54 of the Pima Indian data set. Coming to the next slide. Go to next slide. The conclusion from paper one. Paper one includes that uh, machine learning al algorithms using self-measurable physical condition indicators are less accurate in predicting heart disease compared to algorithms employing all physical condition indicators. Not only do the form former models exhibit reduced accuracy, but they are also more prone to falsely predicting the absence of heart disease in patients with the condition. As a result, the study recommends against the use of machine learning algorithms relying solely on self-measurable indicators until a more comprehensive set of indicators becomes available for the home testing. The next one, coming to the conclusion from paper two. In paper two, the research uh, focuses on diabetes prognosis and emphasizes the critical role of early detection. The study compares uh, multiple machine learning algorithms using data balancing and finds that the random forest classifier consistently outperforms others in predicting diabetic, diabetes, uh, particularly when utilizing balanced data sets. The balanced data set significantly reduces false negative cases, making it an ideal model for gestational diabetes prediction. The researchers express their intention to develop a smarter application for diabetes prediction in the future. Yeah, uh, this is the references for the heart disease prediction using machine learning algorithms with self-measurable physical condition indicator. This is one of the journal paper. Uh, and the second one is machine learning based on diabetes detection model for false negative reduction. Thank you. And uh, yeah, when coming to the research reports, uh, this is all about the uh, research we have done uh, based on these two um, papers regarding healthcare research findings. One is the heart disease and the other one is the diabetics uh, disease prediction. So this is the uh, res research report where we mentioned about the abstraction introduction of both papers and uh, algorithms used and the process of um 
uh, algorithms and the results of both the papers and the conclusion and the summary which we uh, we, we found the findings uh, from the two papers and the references links are here yeah thank you